Hey guys, I want to do a review for you right quick, telling you my thoughts and feelings on the website justfab.com. Previously, I really liked the site. I ordered a pair of boots from there about a month ago. Um, I used their coupon that where you get like half off your first item and items are normally like $39.95. So I got a pair of boots that come up to my knees for like $19.95 free shipping. They arrive pretty quickly. Um, they're cute boots. They're not... Um, they're not fantastic quality, like I wouldn't have wanted to pay 40 bucks for them, but for $20, they were fine. So I was really excited about that. I told somebody at my church about it, and then I placed a second order, and I ordered a purse, which was really cute, and I was excited to get it, but shipping this time took a little while longer. When it came, um, it it's like the color that was on the website was completely misrepresented. I will put the link um, to the actual bag and the pair of boots that I got below. Not that it matters because I'm not recommending their site. But anyway, so I take the purse out. I start looking it over and find out that it's missing a zipper pull. And the type of bag that it was, it was one of those that um, it's got the, it's got like a pocket on each side and a zipper down the middle. So it was a pretty important zipper pull that was missing. So I contacted the company. They have an online chat feature. And I I initiated a chat. And the girl that I got for that chat was really nice. And she was very sweet. And I told her, you know, that I didn't really like the bag anyway because it wasn't anywhere near the color that was on the website. And she said I could exchange it for a different bag if I wanted to. And so... um I told her, you know, which one I wanted, and she said that they would go ahead and ship out the new bag, and they didn't have to wait on me to get the the old one back. So anyway, she, she emailed me a return label, and I was having issues with my printer that week, and um, it took me two days to get it printed. I actually had to have my husband um, print the label at work, um, but I did send that back, and... Um, during that time, I found out that that first person I talked to gave me the incorrect information that they would actually have to wait until they saw that the return was scanned by the post office before they would ship out the replacement item, which is okay. I understand that. And so last Thursday, my husband um, took the bag and mailed it for me. And so I know it got scanned that day. And I called the next day, which was Friday, to say, hey, you know, I mailed this back and I'm trying to find out if you guys have shipped out the new item to me. And the lady on the phone was really nice and she said, yes, we see that it's been scanned. And a quote, she said, you don't have to worry, your exchange has been shipped. <clears throat> so I thought, okay, great, you know. Um, and then last night I went online to check to see if I could have a tracking number in my order history so that I could track it and find out exactly where it was. And it still said pending. So I initiated another online chat and the lady I talked to said, we don't show that your return was ever scanned by the post office. And so we can't ship out your exchange order until we've received that. And I told her, I said, I, I just had this conversation with somebody on Friday who told me the other one's been shipped. And she said, well, you've been given wrong, wrong information. And I was like, what? I'm really confused. And she wasn't helping me at all. And we come to find out they had actually initiated two return labels for that one purse. And then they canceled one of them. Well, the one they canceled, well, I didn't know any of this happened. The, the return label that they canceled was the actual one that I put on the package. And I know this seems ridiculous that this is such a big deal over just a purse. But their customer service was really so bad that I just want everybody to know that if you were trying or thinking about ordering from them. So anyway, um, come to find out that if they would track the right number, which was on the one that they canceled, they would find out that it had been scanned. So I finally got somebody on the phone that understood that. And she told me that the bag had, yeah, the exchange bag had been shipped. Well, today I get an email saying that, um, and you see my son in the background. Today I get an email saying that the bag shipped and it was actually, they just notified FedEx today that it was shipping. So I've been told twice. I was told on Friday and on Sunday that the bag had already shipped when it is just now shipping today, which is Monday. So that's really frustrating. Um, and honestly, at this point, I don't have very much hope that when it arrives, it will A, either be not defective or B, 
um, not look completely different than it did on the website. So this is my last order with Just Fab. Um, their customer service reps, I actually had one who spoke very hatefully to me on the chat and um, very, very frustrating. Uh, I don't like for customer service to treat their customers like I've been treated. And so it's a big deal to me when people and companies act like this. And so that's why I'm posting this review. I just wanted to let you know. So number one, um, at least the items that I've gotten, they're not worth $39.95. If you want to order your first one at half price and then that be your only order, I would say their items are worth 20 bucks. Um, but other than that, they are definitely what I've seen not worth $39.95 and their customer service is horrible. So keep that in mind. That's my review for Just Fab and I hope you have a great day. Bye.